Hey everyone, today's video is going to be about wiring up a battery in Rust. Uh, before this, I showed you the bill of materials that you're going to need for parts, but let's run through them again. You're going to need one root combiner and some sort of power source. In this case, we have a couple large solar panels, two branches, a block pass-through, an ore switch, some sort of battery. We're doing a medium battery for this demonstration. And in this case, I do the smart switch because of a, an application that I'm doing with this later on down the line, which is what all of this is. And that will be covered in my fireworks wiring video. So to start, I've already done the solar panels into this root combiner, and I will have another video just showing you how to do that and some of my tips and tricks there. But we're gonna go out of this root combiner into this first branch. And notice I kind of offset them. This is just for me to help um, so that I know which one is going where because I used to set these up a little differently and I would always have to reference my diagrams and now I don't. So this left side of this branch, remember branches have a left and a right side, is gonna come straight into this OR switch. So this left side gets whatever I can figure this number to be out, okay? Now these solar panels are probably gonna max out around 20 um, ish um, watts, rust watts. So I only need about 15 for my circuit anyway, so I'm gonna set this right now to 15. So 15 is gonna go into that OR switch all the time, as long as these things are producing power. Out of this right side, I'm just gonna go right here diagonal to the second branch. Now this branch is set up at two, and we're gonna leave that because this branch is gonna go right here to this block pass through uh, left side, which is what tells this to block or not block. So as long as there's power here, it's going to block and you can tell because it's red and green. Okay, but as soon as there's no power from this source, this will stop blocking. So with that in mind, I need to wire up my battery now and it's pretty easy. This other side of this branch, the right side of the branch is going to go into power in and now I'm going to take whatever was left from my power source over here at the root combiner that passed through here and remember we set that to 15 so about six or seven four somewhere around there is going to be left and that's going to go in and start charging that battery okay and now I'm going to take the output of this battery and go into this block pass through and notice nothing's coming out and my battery it still has charge left forever that's because this blocker is blocking it because there's power coming in. Now it says two, it's really only one because this branch is using up one of those. It's a little bit of a glitch. So now I can take this out to my OR switch and now either of these two, whichever one is giving power, will work. So in this case, because it's solar at night, my battery will be used. And during the day, as long as I have some good solar power, um, I won't use my battery and it will charge. See, it's already gone up a few rust watts. So out of this OR switch, pretty simple. I'm just gonna go over here to the corner, come down, do some lines, and I'm gonna come into the smart switch. And the reason why I do a smart switch or a switch or anything is that way I can just turn the whole circuit off um, and at one time if I want to. A lot of times here I will start with a branch or even a splitter. And the problem with the splitter is you need to make sure that all three of these outputs are going to use about the same power. Uh, otherwise, you're wasting some rust watts. It's not as efficient. So if you're setting up three century, centuries, that's good. If you're setting up three smart alarms, something like that, that's really good as well. And I'll go over those in some other videos. But this is the basic wiring to get your circuit started into some sort of output from that OR switch. And again, you need a root combiner, a few branches, a block pass-through, an OR switch, obviously a battery, and then something at the end to accept that output from the OR switch. A branch, a switch, a smart switch, a splitter, something to that nature. Thanks for watching, and there'll be more later.